Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. Thank you for joining me today in my kitchen. And today we're gonna make some delicious pork steaks in my aroma cooker. And it's simple, it's easy, and it's just gonna take a few hours. Just um, prep it, set it, and let it go. Go about your day and you'll have some delicious pork steaks. So I'm gonna use Stubbs barbecue sauce. It's sticky sweet, which caught my attention because I like it sticky and sweet. And I like it a little spicy, so I put some um, red pepper flakes in mine, but you can leave that out if you want. And um, of course I use all the regular spices, onion powder, garlic powder, dried parsley, salt and pepper, and I like to use a little vinegar, helps tenderize them, but I just do that because I've always done that, but the cooker's gonna tenderize them just fine. So I got about three and a quarter pounds here. I think I'm only gonna use about maybe two and a quarter pounds, put the rest in the freezer for another day. And I like to put hot sauce that helps tenderize as well. And it's just good for flavor, I forgot to mention that. So yeah, so simple and easy, let's get started. All right, so there was four in that pack. And what I did was, of course, they give you this one on the very bottom that looks horrible. But I'm just going to give these a little cut so they're little and smaller pieces. Good scissors in the kitchen is very helpful, guys, having good scissors in your kitchen. This one's got that bone in it, so I'm just gonna leave that one alone. We don't need that. All right, so that's that. Let me wash my hands, guys. All right, you guys know I never measure, so, but let me show you. Let's take about a teaspoon. You put it in your hand, you can see that's a teaspoon. So just make like a little cup and do it yourself. And then, of course, I usually just shake it out of the shaker. But for the videos, I like to do it like this so that you guys can see. Same with the pepper. See, that's about a teaspoon. All right. We'll do a teaspoon garlic powder. And then a good teaspoon of onion powder, and that's almost the end. Almost out of the garlic powder. I like to do a heaping <laughs> teaspoon of parsley, because I love parsley on everything. And for the hot pepper flakes, you can go easy on this if you want. I'm going to do a teaspoon to show you. But... I like mine to be, um, what do you call it? Spicy. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of vinegar. Really, guys, you can just sprinkle it on. You don't have to measure. We'll do another half. And then we'll do a tablespoon or two of... Yeah, about another half. Okay. And then, is that all of them? Yeah. Then we'll flip these over. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll go easier on the red pepper flakes on this side. Because they're all going to mix in together. pepper and a lot of it falls off guys um, on your pan and so don't be afraid to season your food that's what makes it taste so good <laughs> especially a tougher cut of meat <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> like pork steaks that's the onion powder garlic powder 
And I think we just got parsley left. So yummy. And then we're going to go with another tablespoon of vinegar. You can use any vinegar. I use red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar. I don't usually use like white vinegar for something like this, but I guess you could. I never really have. And then some more hot sauce. Not too much on this side because we're going to rub this all in now. What I like to do is clean up my mess a little bit. <clears throat> and then just go in and get these all good and covered. Look at these guys. These look delicious. Massage it in if you want some good flavor. So I'm going to let these cook for about a good hour. Then I'm going to put some barbecue sauce on them. And this smells amazing. Look at those guys. All right, let me wash my hands and I'll be right back. All right, so we're just going to lay these all in here. Nothing in particular, nothing special. Simple and easy, guys. Get your dinner started. Let me put a little bit of water. Uh... Wait, hang on guys, let me get a measuring cuz <laughs> I don't want you guys to have to guess. I got about a half a cup. Are we in the shot? Mm, about a quarter cup we're gonna go with. And so it's all set to put into my cooker. Let me show you. This is my cooker. Let me take you down and show you. Okay, guys, so here's my cooker. I'll just show you. You just close the, the lid, snaps right on. And then, I thought it started automatically. Uh, power. <laughs> okay. And then you hit menu. Can't do this with one hand. And it takes you down. So that's rice, brown rice, and then I go to slow cook, and it should automatically set it like it did for two hours. Okay, so I'm just going to let it cook for two hours, and then we're going to put the barbecue sauce on. It's been an hour and a half, and these are already fall off the bone. I just opened them to check, and look at that delicious all right what i'm going to do is take out some of that juice because the meat produced its own liquid plus the little quarter cup i put in there but i want to get a lot of that out of there so we can put the barbecue sauce on okay you hear that little bubbling sound all right so i dumped out almost all the juice oh it looks like the lid <laughs> is covering all the sunlight coming in but we're just gonna put some barbecue sauce on there and that's it. Let it cook a few more minutes. About a half hour. So my cooker just went off for the two hour mark. And what it'll do is go right to keep warm setting right there. And it's will keep warm for you. So let's go in and see what they look like because they're all done. These smell amazing, guys. They look amazing. And let's just plate them up. Look at them, they broke all apart because they're so tender. Mmm. Hope you guys give this simple recipe a try. Simple, easy, that's what I'm all about over here. Look at this. They're just breaking apart. It's probably not great for presentation, but it's going to be great for eating. <laughs> Look at these. Oh, my goodness. Woo. Woo. That's going to be my bite right there, guys. Oh, and there's one little piece in there. Okay. And that's it. And if you want, you can pour some more sauce over the top. I think I'll put a little bit right here. Mmm. 
but that's good. Looks good. I'm going to take my bite now, and then I'm going to take my thumbnail, because look at this bite. It was just sitting here waiting for me. Can you guys get a bite of that? Look at that. Oh, my gosh. See that? <laughs> yes, I'm trying to tease you guys. But let's take a bite. Oh, my gosh. I don't normally take a bite off the platter, but this was so simple and so easy. I'm not going to keep you on here. If you're new, welcome. I hope you subscribe. I hope you come and check out all my other videos. Thanks for joining me and spending time with me. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. And you guys, that barbecue sauce is so good. Give it a try. Mm. But of course, you could use any barbecue sauce that you want. But give Stubbs a try. I seen it in the store. I thought it was good. It's got a tangy taste. Uh, really sweet. You know, I put a little hot pepper flakes in there. So it's a little spicy. But yeah so i'll see you guys on the next one and i'll leave a link above for some other uh crock pot meals or my aroma cooker go try go find one of those it's just called aroma professional that's the name of it and that's it it's simple it's easy i love it um i got it as a gift and i've been using it um quite a bit so be blessed guys see you on the next one